James one is James the wine guy. I haven't had a uh, Hawk and Horse wine for some time. This is from Lake County. I want to tell you more about this wine, so stay tuned. So what we have before us is uh, this fantastic wine, Hawk and Horse Vineyards, Red Hills from Lake County, Cabernet Sauvignon, 2011 vintage, 14.5% ABV. Here's a back panel for your inspection right here. And uh, small case production. So the case production is 1,750 cases. So just the retail price point is $65. And uh, it's an outstanding wine. And now this is a composition of 98% Cabernet Sauvignon and 2% uh, Petit Verdot. And when I tasted this one, I thought, oh, I'm just going to really be experiencing Cabernet Sauvignon, which of course is on the label, but I think ultimately a lot of Cabernets are going to have another Bordeaux uh, wine support. And the Petit Verdot on this is really handsome. I think it's really giving a further defining of this wine. And a lot of winemakers, what they do is they go through trials and maybe it's 6% Petit Verdot or maybe 5% and 1% uh, Merlot or uh, Cabernet Franc or another uh, uh, Bordeaux variety but I think this really works well together. So as I taste uh, Bordeaux wines or Cabernet Sauvignon, I'm gonna taste this in a very large format. So what do uh, Bordeaux varieties have a lot of, a lot of herbaceous qualities, and I think ultimately you're gonna get that characterization from a really nice uh, formatted glass like this. So this wine is a uh, price point is $65. This uh, wine spends 20 months in 80% uh, new French oak and 20% in two year old French oak. Unfortunately, Cabernet Sauvignon is often not uh, flagship to other wine regions in California, which is unfortunate, but this is why I do uh, this great uh, journey in tracking wines and do reviews on wine producers like this because I think they do an exceptional job. So this is 93 points out of 100 points. You can also think of this as a 9.3 out of a 10.0 scale. Now, first the scent characterization is up next, and then we'll do the flavor characteristics right after that. So on this one I'm getting notes of juniper forest, black cherry, mixed bramble tones, and underbrush. So that beautiful scent characterization that I'm getting when I'm in a uh, plum orchard, so I think of my aunt's plum orchard in the fall time, and when the plums fall to the earth, they have a, a scent characterization that's expressed with the earth, and it's somehow encapsulated with this wine. I'm not to you know make this equivalent to a plummy wine because it is not. Uh, but really that application uh, is really, I think, goes a long way to express what the wine is. Next, the flavor characterization. Flavor characteristics include tea berry, cassis, red currant, bay leaf, tarragon, pepper, and a hint of savory spice. Again, this is a 93 point wine out of 100 points. Stay with me on this great journey of wine. And I've been talking in terms of, say, this wine racetrack. When I use the word racetrack, I don't mean something to race around and experience. I need to make sure for me that I'm tasting wines from all regions and near or far, Lake County's near or far, so tasting wines from every region, every variety, every stylization that I can in a given year. And that I don't purposely, uh, you know, over extend into one region, but uh, under represent another. But I think for me, this is a really happy experience of tasting a gorgeous wine like this and a uh, $65 price point and uh, I'll put more information on the producer down below. But do me a favor, give a like. The like button's down there. Questions and comments can be listed there as well. So uh, you'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. So uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't this already. And the purpose of a subscription on YouTube is really to go back and look at a wine video or at least have some sent to you uh, because not everyone is always on YouTube. So thank you again for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Salut.